Having acne might seem like a superficial problem, not that big of a deal, but it's not until you're really living it that you truly understand how deeply it can affect much more than your skin. Acne is painful, both physically and emotionally. It can completely destroy your self-esteem. You desperately try all kinds of skincare products, turn down all forms of socializing, become obsessed with finding the secret to clear skin, hide your face in whatever way possible, visit countless professionals and try all kinds of treatments, the majority of time with no luck, and you're left feeling hopeless. Today I want to share my acne story, how it started, my struggle with it throughout the years, and why today I'm grateful for the experience. I started getting acne around the age of 15. I remember I had just celebrated my quinceañera, and for those of you that aren't familiar with this, in Hispanic cultures, this is a celebration, sort of like a sweet 16. It marks the transition from childhood to adulthood. So it's a pretty big deal. And I remember that day, I just felt so special. I was wearing my big princess-like dress. My hair was nicely done. I was even wearing a crown. And this was also one of the very first times I wore makeup. And that day, I just remember I felt absolutely beautiful. Because I loved the way that I looked, I started wearing makeup more consistently until it got to the point where I didn't feel put together. I didn't feel like I was pretty enough unless I was wearing makeup. So I had officially set a new beauty standard for myself. So I started wearing it every day for the wrong reasons. My decision to apply makeup to my face every day was coming from a lack of self-love, to be honest. And also at this point in my life, I had zero knowledge about skincare. I didn't know about the importance of properly removing your makeup at the end of the day or washing your face at night, or washing your face at all. I was completely clueless to say the least. So I started getting random pimples here and there. But at this point, I didn't think much of it because I was a teen and that was seen as something normal during that phase in our lives. And pretty soon those random pimples here and there started to multiply really quickly. My mom started buying me all kinds of skincare products, acne treatments, skincare tools, I started taking all kinds of supplements and I tried all those home remedies that friends and family would suggest, all with very little improvement to none at all. I was starting to feel like a lost cause and I just started losing hope. And I remember even doctors gave up on me. I remember being humiliated by one in particular. After two visits with him, he basically said that he had done what he could. He said the problem was that I was caking my face applying way too much makeup, and he also asked me if I washed my face. This was after years of having acne, of struggling with it every single day. Of course I was washing my face. The question felt like an insult. I remember whenever he said those words, my heart felt completely crushed. I felt so many things. First of all, the fact that a doctor was officially giving up on me, like I had no hope. Second of all, I felt like I wasn't being understood by anybody. If a professional couldn't help me, then who would? I remember I sat there and I stayed quiet for a little bit and I just couldn't hold back my tears. I cried and I told him that I understood that yes, I was applying makeup to my face, but I knew in my heart that that was not what was causing the acne. I knew that my problem was something internal, something that was going on inside of me, and I was right. But I wouldn't really figure all of that out until later. Having acne is really hard. It's something that's not only painful physically, but also emotionally. I had cystic acne. I was dealing with red, painful, swollen bumps that felt like they were deeply rooted into my skin. I remember that sometimes they would even feel like they were alive because they would throb and it was really painful, especially along my jawline. Those were the worst. Every day I would look at my skin in the mirror and it was painful to see. That's why I don't have any pictures of my skin when it was at its worst because it was really hard to look at my skin and so taking pictures was just out of the question for me. I only have progress pictures so if those seem pretty bad to you, you can imagine what my before pictures might look like. During this time, I was also putting my skin through a lot. Everything that I was using was so harsh that I reached a point where I was not only dealing with the acne, but now my skin was very irritated 
it was dry and it was peeling. And I can't tell you the number of times that I broke down. I cried way more times than I could ever keep count of. But I do remember one particular occasion. I remember it very vividly. I was applying a face mask, one of the many face masks that people would suggest. So I was giving it a try and I remember looking at myself in the mirror as I was applying it and then I just stopped and then I just asked, why? Why did I have so many bumps on my face? And on top of that, why did they have to be so painful? Why did it seem like everyone else had beautiful, clear skin except me? It felt so unfair. I was so tired of trying all of these skincare products without seeing much of a difference. And it was especially hard for me to try on face masks because I could clearly see all of the texture and all of the bumps on my skin and it hurt to see all of that. All I wanted was to be able to touch my skin and for it to feel smooth. And I'm getting emotional talking about that because I remember I wanted that so badly. I was just so done with the situation. I dropped down on my knees beside my bed, I never forget, and I cried my heart out. I felt like my acne was holding me back from living my life, and it was. The emotional pain I felt that day was so real, and I think that's why, to this day, I never forget it. I think it goes without saying, I was extremely self-conscious of my skin. I was already a very shy person to begin with, and with acne, I just slowly started becoming even more and more shy. My self-esteem was basically non-existent during an already difficult time. I was in high school, so I started applying even more layers of makeup in an attempt to hide every last bit of the redness. I went to school every day trying my best to go unnoticed. I would walk the halls with my head down, just looking at my feet, trying to not make any eye contact whatsoever. During class, I would sit at the back and I would rest my hands underneath my chin, just trying to cover as much of my face as possible. I remember feeling a huge sense of relief whenever we were watching a movie or when the teacher was doing something with an overhead projector because the lights would be off. Those days, I was safe. I could take my hands off of my face and just relax for once. And my anxiety would soar through the roof every time we had to do some sort of group project or teamwork because that meant I had to be in close contact with other people and I had to be face to face with other people. Those days were the worst for me. I started using my hair as a way to hide my skin too. I got side sweat bangs and I would bring my hair forward so I could cover my cheeks, which is where I had the most acne. And all of this hiding wasn't just happening at school. I felt the same way no matter where I was, even at home. It was really hard for me to let other people see my skin, even those closest to me. There were many times I avoided going out with friends. I turned down many invitations, parties, family gatherings, you name it. I wasn't gonna go. I would even cancel dates with my boyfriend. I would make up excuses and say that I just didn't feel good, but the truth was I just didn't want him to see all of the redness and see all of the bumps on my skin. I remember at that point I wouldn't even let him touch my face. And as you can imagine, the thought of him seeing me without makeup was absolutely terrifying. And then one day I hit rock bottom. It felt like life prepared everything so perfectly for me to learn this lesson. I keep going back and forth about whether or not I should or want to share this story just because for a long time it was a very vulnerable moment in my life, one that I was and still am very embarrassed about. The only reason why I'm choosing to share this is because I know that it can help somebody out there. So here it goes. So I was in the kitchen, I had just had breakfast and my dad had just left to go visit some friends that were in town. I was still in the kitchen when all of a sudden I heard my dad's voice, along with other people's voices, approaching the front door. I wasn't wearing any makeup, so my acne was completely visible. At this point in my journey, I was okay with my family seeing me without makeup, but nobody else. The front door, the living room, and the kitchen were all connected, so the only way to get to the other side of the house was to go across the living room and that front door area. So as I heard the doorknob turn, my heart sank. It was too late for me to make my way back to the room, and the living room is open to the kitchen, 
so there was no way of me escaping this situation. My heart started pounding so fast, I felt cornered, I felt like I was gonna be exposed. And I know that might sound a little bit dramatic to some people, but for those of you that have been in my situation, I know that you can relate to that terrifying feeling. In my mind, the only option I had at this point was to hide somewhere in the kitchen, and there was no other place except for the pantry. And this wasn't like a walk-in pantry. This was more like you open the door and everything is there. So there's barely any room for anybody to stand there with the door closed. But if I didn't want these people to see my acne, I had no other choice. So I ran as fast as I could to the pantry and I closed the door just in time, just as they were walking into the living room. So it turned out that as my dad was on his way to visit these friends, they were on their way to visit us. What a coincidence. They saw each other along the way and decided to go back to our house. So there I was in the pantry hoping this was gonna be just a quick five minute visit, maybe. But as the minutes went by, it started getting kind of hard to breathe. It felt like I was suffocating because it was a very small space. So I cracked the door open just a little, just enough to get in some fresh air. Then I started wondering how and why in the world I got myself into this situation. I also started thinking of all the other possible things I could have done instead of running to the pantry. I was trying not to freak out, but it didn't seem like these people were going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, the phone rang and it turned out that even more people were on their way to our house. At which point I really started panicking. I started hyperventilating. My body started to shake. I started to feel hot and cold at the same time. I felt lightheaded and I felt like I could faint at any moment. I really just wanted to get out of there. The thought of people seeing me without makeup didn't sound as bad anymore. I thought how easy it could have been had I just said hi and gone straight to my room and I could have avoided all of this to begin with. But it was too late to do any of that. Unless I came up with a really convincing reason as to why I was in the pantry, I was gonna look like a complete fool walking out of there after who knows how long. And then I saw my sister walk into the kitchen. She was just a few feet away, so I thought I'm just gonna call her name as quietly as possible just to get her attention and so she can help me. So I whispered her name as quietly as I could, even though she says that it was pretty loud, but the point is she heard me and she walked over to the pantry very casually. I asked her to text my dad to please find a way to get all of these people out of the house. That way I could get out of there without having to explain myself and make this moment even more embarrassing. I remember through that small little crack in the door, I saw my dad look down at his phone and then he looked in my direction. And I remember I felt so embarrassed at him finding out that I had been there this whole time. But at the same time, I felt lots of relief. My dad quickly found a way to get everybody out of the house and I remember once they left, I swung the door open, fell to my knees, and I cried. I cried like I never had cried before. I felt so incredibly ashamed. I couldn't believe I had put myself in this situation just because I didn't want people to see my skin, to see my acne. I felt extremely disappointed in myself for everything, not just for putting myself in that situation, but also my sister and my dad. And my tears weren't only for what had just happened. My tears were also for all the years of me doing this to myself. This situation made me realize that I was doing this to myself every day. Every day I was hiding. I hid behind a layer of makeup. I hid behind my side sweat bangs. I hid behind my hair that was always framing my face. I hid by turning down all forms of socializing. Every day I was suffocating myself just like I was doing in that pantry by not showing my face to the world, by avoiding social encounters, by not making eye contact, by not speaking up so I wouldn't draw attention to myself. I was really holding myself back from living and I cried at the realization of all of this. No product in this world, no doctor, nothing and nobody would ever be able to help me because I wasn't helping myself. I was doing myself a huge disservice by not loving and accepting myself exactly as I was. This was the turning point in my journey. I got up off the floor, I walked out of the house without a single drop of makeup on my face, and I went to the park, and I just sat there. And I just felt the sun beating down on my skin, on my natural bare skin. <laughs> I'm getting emotional again. Um, I'm getting emotional because that was the first time I did that. The first time I walked out of the house without wearing any makeup. And I just remember it felt so good. It felt so freeing to just be. 
to just be myself, my natural self, no makeup, no hiding, just me. Walking out of the house without makeup was a huge act of bravery for me, so I remember I felt so proud of myself for doing that. Soon after, I had like this light bulb moment where I realized that my skin was a reflection of something much deeper, of something that was going on inside of me mentally and physically. I remember realizing that things like skincare products could work temporarily, but to find true lasting healing, I had to dig deeper. I had to get to the root of the problem. And as the days went by, I slowly started to see that I hadn't been taking full responsibility for my situation. I was fully relying on skincare products and doctors and supplements and medicine to heal my acne, but I wasn't doing much for myself. I wasn't taking care of myself mentally, physically, or emotionally. So I started doing lots of research. I spent hours and hours reading and learning. I started learning more about how the body works, the importance of eating healthy, of exercising, how important it was to manage my stress, my emotions, basically the importance of living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. I had never felt so much joy and passion for something before. I really fell in love with this way of living and going to like a natural health food store or reading a book about health and wellness became my new happy place. So I let go of my obsession of finding that secret to clear skin. My focus was on cultivating self-love, taking care of myself, improving my lifestyle, feeling good inside and out, and all of those little changes that I did, small changes really started to add up. And one day, I looked at myself in the mirror and I couldn't help but smile. I smiled and I felt so happy because I realized that all of these years of me focusing on just improving my lifestyle, that was what healed my acne and now my skin was clear. And that is how my love for all things natural, health and wellness related began. It was because of my acne experience that I completely changed my lifestyle for the better and it was that change that ultimately healed my acne. And this is also why I started this YouTube channel several years ago, was because I really wanted to share my love for all of this with you guys. And so this video does mark like the rebirth of my channel because I was gone for quite some time. And that's why I had every intention of this video being the first one back. So in upcoming videos, you will be seeing lots more content focused on that, focused on health, wellness, living a healthier lifestyle, including all of those changes I did to heal my acne. So I hope you stick around for all of that because I'm really excited and I can't wait to share all of that with you guys. So what I take from this experience is that everything in life has a purpose and a reason for being. Especially in tough experiences like this, there is always a lesson to be learned. And these lessons will keep presenting themselves over and over again until you pay attention and you learn the lesson. And so I learned mine. I learned that external things cannot solve internal issues. Makeup was never gonna give me the self-love that I lacked. The same way that skincare products alone wouldn't be able to heal my acne completely when it was being caused by stress, eating unhealthy, and so on and so forth. True healing comes when all is balanced inside and outside. So I really can't have anything but gratitude for this acne experience and all that it taught me. And for anybody out there that's currently dealing with acne and to my younger self, I would say you are beautiful. You are enough. You are loved. You are accepted exactly as you are. You are so much more than your skin. You're not a lost cause. There is hope. Clear skin is possible. Today, I no longer struggle with acne. I feel 100% comfortable with my skin. I no longer need to hide. I love myself and accept myself exactly as I am, flaws and all, unconditionally. And just like that day at my quinceañera, today and every day I feel absolutely beautiful. The only difference is I don't need makeup to feel that way.